It is Saturday morning. I should be watching cartoons. <laughs> um, I just, I honestly, I just wanted to do more face swap, Snapchat things with mannequin heads and, and such. <laughs> so I did makeup, but I I used soft ivory instead of porcelain, which looks tan on me, but it's complicated, but it works fine for photos for this. Works for its purpose. <laughs> but I brought it down and kind of like, I can't exactly tell, but kind of like a certain streaky edge on purpose. <laughs> it's so strange, isn't it? I, like, I'm very pale, but I'm permanently discolored. And others with erythromyalgia and Renaud's are as well, I know. But, especially, like, this didn't used to be like this. Like, it didn't, I didn't used to be so indefinitely discolored. But it's, I'm very pink and purple all around here. I mean, these are always pink anyway, my upper arms. And my face. I mean, it's usually burning, burning, but even if it's not, it's a lot pinker than it used to be, even when it's more neutral. But it depends. It depends. This ear is on fire. My bad angry elephant ear kind of likes to deteriorate like permanently swollen as fuck. <laughs> I actually put a little bit of makeup on this ear. I don't usually. It's, uh, <laughs> But, no, I don't, I want to cover it, I don't want to look at it, I don't want to feel it, obviously, but if, it helps like ever so slightly, like out of sight, out of mind, but you can only do so much. But just the act of, of applying it is so distracting and, and fun, and I've always loved taking photos and stuff. My eyebrows got pretty big today. <laughs> oh, this might look stupid, but I think it looks kind of cool. Like, obviously, this is not my skin. Like, just obviously. I'm red. I'm rubicund. Well, it's really pink. More than red. But... All kinds of shades of pink getting so deep that it's purplish but purple is usually more of a neutral color one of my favorite colors so that kind of works out <laughs> not such a fan of pink anymore but that means pain to me so usually Ah, I wanted to try this new thing I got. I have this brand of cooling towel, but this is a hooded hood version of it. Endure Endura Cool Instant Cooling Mesh Hoodie. Feel cool and go harder. <laughs> when wet, cools instantly to 30 degrees below average body temperature, supposedly. 
chemical free UPF 50 protection, lightweight mesh for enhanced cooling performance. I don't know, like, I, the first one I got was just a towel. It is a different material, and it is, like, soft, and I feel like it just gets colder. Chest were burning. Yeah, I just feel like it gets cooler, and there's this whole thing where you're supposed to get the whole thing wet and then snap it to activate it. No. Make the snaps. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> activate it to make it colder and I I don't know some people don't seem to believe that from the reviews or at least for the new kind yeah I'm not quite so sure about this the hood and my newer one which I thought was gonna be way bigger and it's only slightly bigger it's like mesh like gym shorts kind of mesh I don't know only slightly bigger. I thought it was going to be way bigger. <sighs> but I think I like the old material better. I don't know. I'm going to get this wet again. Colder. It's supposedly it's supposed to last like 30 minutes to an hour or something like that it or it might have supposed to last longer but that's about how long it might last maybe for me Colder, could be colder. Yeah. My back will be burning. Be better. <laughs> Slightly, but then it's blocked from the fan. I think it would be more like if I'm taking photos on my porch, <laughs> basically. Although I do have an outlet out there, I should really, really bring a fan out there whenever I can. More so, manage to actually go outside because I love nature and I miss it dearly. It's very therapeutic, but so difficult with my fucking restrictions for temperature and environment. Not wait to dye my hair, but I am enjoying getting to use warm water on my hair way too much. Like it detangles it even so much more than I remembered or knew. 
Like, oh, it takes so long to come through this curly monster. <laughs> Call it the monster of my head. is annoying. <laughs> I can't wait for the color, but maintenance. Soon though, I'll probably do it for my birthday party next weekend, maybe? 26th? Uh. I won't be quite, quite as much as a grouch if I have neon green hair. <laughs> Perhaps. Uh, I wish I could just float in water though. In this pool. I really, really wish my muscles weren't hurting so much. I haven't been on my real bike in years. Only the stationary bike indoors and my dad got fixed up and it's actually like 50s and 60s ish lately. I don't know how long it'll last but, but uh, God, that would be amazing. But my ankles hurt, my neck hurts and all my muscles I think are still messed up from Dalton like six, seven, eight months later. But I'm trying to exercise. And I want to do more. I actually want to do more, which is weird, but I'm trying not to push it. The bike rides are always fun, though. I miss the fun, and swimming is actually fun and enjoyable, and so much easier on the joints and everything. Which better in every way and mermaid practice and ah. oh. I doing? Oh, there's a window. Um hey, I'm gonna go do weird shit on Snapchat. Mine is Mermaid Quee. Like Queen, but mine is the end. <laughs> Look at your own risk. <laughs> oh, white lips are so weird. Just kind of happened. I am probably gonna then do MBA Cosmetics Blues. Ozone and Indigo are my favorite. They're lip paints. They're vegan and affordable and awesome. And creamy and delicious. Well, not really delicious, but in a sense. <laughs> I also used M MBA Cosmetics for my Azure Brows and Black Eyeliner with Eyeshadow and Twinkle Dust Silver Sparkly Shit all over my face. <laughs> Yes. <sighs> yeah. <laughs>